how I customize my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and some things that you can do to customize your S23 Ultra and add a little bit of spice to it to make it your own personalized look. That's what we're going to get into today because I know a lot of you always ask me, T, what's your icon pack? What's your launcher? What you use for that? What you use for always on display? Look, I got all the questions answered in this video. Y'all stay locked in. I'll be sure to put chapters down below if you want to see lock screen, icon pack, wallpapers. I'm going to make sure I bust it all down below so you can check it out. But let's go ahead and jump straight to it. Let's switch to the S23 Ultra and let's go ahead and talk about the always on display first. Now, of course, you could turn the always on display straight from Samsung, straight in the default settings. You can pop it on, but it has their default layout. Guess what? Everybody has those layouts when it comes to the always on display. You want to spice yours up a little bit. You want to take yours to the next level when you put your phone down on the table and somebody asks you, how in the world? Let's go ahead and start. So when you look at this, there's going to be a few things that you're going to need to get this look together, all right? And we'll come back to the home screen. I know a lot of you just care about home screen. We're going to come back to it. But the app that you're going to need to download, and you're going to have to go to the Samsung App Store, I won't say the Google Play, the Samsung App Store, you're going to need to download GoodLock, all right? Not the Google Play Store, the Samsung App Store. And GoodLock is going to be, it's going to, give, going to give you the ability to unlock a bunch of things when it comes to your home screen, your lock, you know, your lock screen, you're always on display, or different things like that. Now, there are going to be two modules that you need to download in order to change your lock screen and always on display up. And that's going to be clock face and lock star. Now you can download these within the good lock app. You can search for them in the Samsung play store. You can do whatever, download those. Those are free also, but clock face, let's click on clock face. All right. So you're going to get two options, always on display or your lock screen. This is going to be, if you want to change the style of your clock up. So let's go ahead and click always on display and it's going to load up. It's going to do its thing. And they're going to give you their library of clock faces that you can choose from. Now, the one I choose is going to be in that top left corner. Whatever one you choose, it'll also be shown in that top left corner. But you can just scroll and just choose from their many different clock faces. Now, they don't have a ton, but they have enough up there and they kind of refresh from time to time. And you can kind of go through them and just, you know, choose one. So say you choose uh, this one right here. All right. Sometimes you can edit these depending on what actual clock face it is. You, if you choose one with some color. So let's go to one like this one, for example, which I know is highly customizable. You can do a lot. All right. You can change the time format. You can change the colors. You can do all types of things when it comes to certain clock faces. Not all of them, but just certain ones. So let's go to one that is, uh, let's go to that little analog clock. I really like the way that looks. So say we like this one here, for example. No, it wasn't that one. Let's do this one. It's going to pull it up. You're going to hit the check mark and it's going to say apply clock face. All right. So let's go back to the always on display and boom, you can see that that I may actually leave that because that's kind of smooth right there. You can see the new always on display. Now, this is the same thing for your lock screen. So the always on display in your lock screen. So here's my lock screen. Looks a little bit different. I have a different clock. So let, and I've moved it around to the left a little bit. So let me go ahead and show you how you can do that. So let's get back in the good lock. And then we can go to clock face once again. And then you go to lock screen. Go and do the same thing. Like I said, this module works for both lock screen and always on display. It's going to load it up. But if you have a wallpaper on your lock screen, you'll be able to preview the clock face and you'll be able to see what it looks like against your background. So that's a nice little touch that they did right there. And then this, this works the same exact way. You choose a clock face and say, let's choose that one. We apply it. It says apply clock face and let's go to our lock screen. And as you see, it is applied. Now, Let's go ahead and take it a step further, all right? Let's take it a step further real quick. I'm not sure what happened right there, but let's go to Lockstar. So I know some of you are like, what is Lockstar? What does that do? So let's click on Lockstar, and you're going to see you both your always on display, and you're going to see your lock screen. Now, when it comes to your always on display, I don't really think you can do anything. You can do much in Lockstar with the always on display. But if you want to, like, completely get rid of your notification icons, you can just hit that X and to delete those. But where I feel like a lot of the, the the customization comes from when it comes to this app is going to be on your lock screen because lock screens are a little bit more important, especially if you don't run always on display. A lot of us may have pictures of your loved one, the picture of your kids. And say for an example, you have a wallpaper that's, you know, your, your clock or you have a, a time layout that's blocking the face or doing different things like that. 
this app gives you ability to move it around. So say for example, there's something that you wanna see right in this area, you can kind of move the media player, you can move it all the way down if you want to put it down here and display it. So you can kind of move stuff around. Same thing with notification icons, you can move these anywhere that you want and put them. I love the versatility of this app. Same thing if you got a different clock widget, all right? The clock widget, it can come all the way down here. You can kind of move it around. This allows you to kind of customize your lock screen the way you want to customize it, all right? And then that basically is the same thing. You can, And it's all through good lock, and that's going to be through clock face, and it's going to be through lock star. And that's basically what it is, lock screen timeout. You could change what your lock screen timeout wants to be if you want to stay on your lock screen a little bit longer. You could turn either your lock screen or your always on display on and off. It's little things like that that you can do. So that's going to basically clean up and go ahead and kind of go through the always on display and the lock screen. So let's go ahead and get into the phone itself. Let's get to that home screen because I know a lot of you got a lot of questions. Now, coming to the lock screen. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going to start off, but let's start off with the icon pack and then we'll kind of go from there. So the icon pack that I am using is going to be called Lux. All right. So I've already pulled it up right here. I have already paid for it. I think this may be like 99 cent, $2 or something like that. You know, icon packs really aren't that expensive, but I use the Lux icon pack and I use Nova launcher as my launcher. And I'll tell you why and different things like that. But it, when it comes to icon packs, I mean, you can choose from a, a variety of icon packs. Now, the, the, the artist that makes the Lux icon pack, I tend to like his, I love his icons. Like, this just new designs. I follow him on Twitter. He's actually looked out for the channel and gave me a few codes and different things like that. And we may get a few codes. Pay attention to this video in the description. And But you got to hit the subscribe button. You got to make sure you come back. Because I could get some free codes for some icon packs. But you can click on the artist and look at all his icon packs that he normally runs. But I, this year, I was like, you know what? I like this Lux, Lux icon pack. Let's go ahead and download it. So that's the icon pack that I'm using. Next is going to be wallpaper. Now, now, let's go to wallpaper because a lot of people ask me, T, what wallpaper do you use? Where do you get your wallpapers from? Now, Just New Designs, the person, the artist that's made makes this icon pack, he has a wallpaper area built into the Lux Icon app that's that's custom pulled, that's that's curated to go along with this icon pack, if you know what I'm saying. So if you go down here to your, your wallpaper, so this is, if you open the Lux app, this is basically gonna be it. You can share, you can rate, you can donate to the artists. Look, these artists put in work to give us these dope icon packs. Make sure y'all go out there and donate, man. So you got 3,400 icons, you got 700 wallpapers in here, 15 templates with uh, KWGT, I think that's the name of it. I'll make sure I, this video could be long, but we're going to get into it. And you got some templates that you can run off of, all right? So you can go in here, click on wallpapers, and this, and just like I said, this is 700 wallpapers, all right? You can scroll. That's basically where I got this wallpaper that you see right there. You can scroll, and I don't know why that back button is just not working. It does not let me be great, but you can just pick from a bunch of different wallpapers that's basically made to go alongside the icon pack. And that's what you want. You don't want icon packs and wallpapers and things like that clashing. You want things to be able to go together. So that's what that has. That's what that does. You find a wallpaper and you hit apply, boom, and it applies your wallpaper. You can save it to your device. You can do a bunch of different things like that. So that's the wallpaper that I'm using. And this, this, the wallpaper and the icon pack is both in the Lux app. That's how you can get your wallpapers. Now, the widget right here, the clock widget is one that is, I can probably do a video by itself on, was it KWGT? I think that's what it, KWGT Pro. Now, this is basically, and let's go to KWGT. Now, KWGT is an app that is so in depth. So KWGT is gonna allow you to do a range of different widgets and you can really be, you can really make your phone your own with this app because you can go in here and you can download different modules just like good lock and it's going to give you a bunch of different templates a bunch of different templates i'm talking about a lot that you can choose from all of these are going to be clock widgets all of these are going to be you can do some weather widgets if you click one that has i don't even know like if you go to i mean all of these are ones that you can currently download this is a hard to explain app, but say for an example, you download a module, you click on it, you can go into the actual widget and change so much stuff. You can change the, the font, so say for an example, this isn't really a good one, let's go to discard, 
uh, let's go here. So mine right here, for example, this is the one that I'm using. You can kind of go and find it. This is all in Lux. Once again, the Lux Icon Pack. He also makes KWGT or KW, that, 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 that acronym tears me up every single time. But he makes different templates within the this app. So it goes once again with his icon packs. This gold right here goes with the gold that's on some of the icons down here. I like to keep everything uniform. So when you click on it, you can go here and you can change this font. You can go and you can go to the text. You can change how the text look, the font look, the position, the size of it. You can really go absolutely crazy. And then once you hit save, it saves. And then you go and apply it as a widget like you would normally do. You know what I mean? You would first go and go here and let's go to widget. And then you will go down to KWGT. <laughs> so it, it's just so wild. I might have passed it, but you can go here where it says a custom widget. You put that custom widget on your lock screen, in your home screen, click it, and something like this is going to pop up. And, uh, let, and let me see. Let me get back to the app, which is KW. This app, I, I can't stand KWGT, and it's going to let you do so much in here. So you really have to go ahead in this app. Look on YouTube. There are a bunch of tutorials that you can do to make sure you choose your custom layout when it comes to a widget that rocks with you. All right. This that app is super in-depth, it's super detailed. You can create your own widget. You can move stuff however you want to move it. As long as you download the modules, which you can download them, I think, directly from that app or in the app store, you can go and download them also. Most of them have been free that you can do, and you can custom curate any lock screen widget, anything that you want to. When you click on it, it can open the app. I don't have mine clicked on to when you can open the app or anything like that, but love that widget. If you guys want to see a more in-depth video, because I felt I was super brief when it came to that, let me know. We can sit down and we can walk through it. Now, the launcher. I use Nova Launcher, all right? That's what I use. I use Nova Launcher Pro. I've been using Nova Launcher for I don't know how long, and I love it because of the customization that you can do, especially when it comes out to the to the grid when it comes to the home screen, all right? I'm using a 9 by 6 grid. It, I use where, where it cuts the icons off. I don't really want to see it say Twitter, IG, TikTok, Instagram. I know what the app icon is. I don't want to see it. So I go in Nova Settings. You can basically turn your icons off, home screen, your icons, so you can have your label on, or you can turn your label off. You can have a different grid. You can have a, a very small grid. You can move your icons to be small. It says icon size. You can move it very little icons if you want to, or if you want to make great big icons, you can do that. It really lets you do a bunch of different things, so it just blew my icons up. But And let's go ahead and uh, make them back smaller again because those are just a little bit too big for me. But let's bring them on back down to like 105. I tend to keep it around 105. This app lets you do a bunch when it comes to different stuff like that. I have my search bar down here. You can either put the search bar up here or you can take it off. You don't have to have this search bar, but I found out that's the way I can get around to get to apps fairly quick. You can type in TikTok, whatever the app is, you can type in Amazon, boom, you can go to it. Whatever it is, it allows you to get the stuff quick. That's the reason why I like that. Also, when it comes to this search bar, I have a little calendar tab right down here, which you can add. And it pops up and allows me to open up the calendar, all right? Now, another thing that I love about Nova Launcher is the customizations of swipe gestures that you can do. There's two apps that I use all the time that I can't quickly access because I don't want to put a bunch of icons on my home screen. But that's going to be calendar and that's going to be, what is my what is my other one? My alarm. It's my clock widget. So the way I combat that is, is for my type and swipe down, I have the calendar. The calendar pops up. So tap, swipe down. That's going to bring my calendar up tap swipe up that's going to bring my clock application up so i know you're like t what in the what, what in the hell do you just do right there but if you go ahead and to the gestures and inputs there's all these different gestures that you can do to to do an action to open up an app there's so many different things that you can do within this 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 tool right here so you can do double tap it goes to weather i don't have an active weather widget up here i'm going to do another kwgt widget to have weather but i don't have an active one i check weather all the time so i just double tap it just pops up google weather boom just like that you see what i'm saying so that's the reason why i like to have nova launcher the customizations everything that you can do within nova launcher i absolutely love it when it comes to the dock down here i can have multiple apps in the dock i can have more apps i can have i can make it two three apps whatever you want to do you can do it you got notification badges whether you want it to be a dot whether you want it to be a 
all you can do a, a dynamic a dynamic badge that changes you know it, it shows you the app that's gets notified you got a, a, a numeric dot like nova launcher once again that's something that can have a, a video on its own all right app drawer you can do so much in the app drawer you can have it to where i have mine to where it's transparent when you pull it up you can just kind of faintly see the the wallpaper in the background there is so much that you can do with these applications. I'm telling you, it's literally unreal. So overall, that's basically going to be it. Now, I do have one GoodLock module that I forgot to talk about. So if you go to GoodLock, you got QuickStar. Now, for me, QuickStar is basically it lets you do your quick toggle and your, your notification bar up here. It lets you kind of change that around. So for me, I already have the time here. I don't need the time up here. So that quick star module allows me to change the time to where it just removes it. I don't need to see it because I already got the time looking at me right here. So little things like that where you can really get into it and really play and make it your own. So when it comes to the always on display in your lock screen, you got clock face, you got lock star. When you get into the phone with this, you have the Lux icon pack with the Lux wallpaper with the Lux KWGT widget right there with Nova Launcher being my launcher of choice. This is a long video, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys found this useful. Trust me, if you have any questions about anything that I went over in this video, please, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to help you. I'm very active in my comments and I will be sure to answer every question that you have. But if you want to stay on the channel a little bit, it's a little bit fresh and you want to hear what I think about the S23 Ultra, I'll be making sure to pop that video right here.